Okay, so I converted two of my older Porter cable, NICAD uh, 18 volt power tools, cordless tools from these big clunky NICADs that don't really hold the charge anymore and are kind of shot. I have a bunch of M18 tools and batteries, so I found these adapters online. I'll try to put the link on the YouTube thing. Um, and then I just figured out a way to take this battery apart and kind of attach it. It's really nice. It's pretty slim. It's not a big giant adapter. It's solid. Um, and it just clicks right in there. And I'm all good. Now I can, you know, use these tools again. Uh, not to throw them out. Or, uh, or try to find new batteries or buy new batteries and just stay with all my M18 stuff. So I'll just show you real quick how I did it. It's just the way I did it. I'm not saying it's the right way. But it's just what I did. Okay, so if you want to convert one of your old Porter cable NICAD 18 volt tools to use the Milwaukee M18 stuff, this is what I did. This is what you have to do. You have to at least sacrifice one of your old Porter cable batteries, NICAD. This one's kind of shot, so I don't care. I have to open it up and take a piece out of it. And here are these little... Um, adapters you can get online amazon or whatever um they're really good quality ones some of them are 3d printed they're not so great but this one's really good came in a two pack 25 bucks for two of these you need one of these too so battery one of these and whatever tool you're using i also took some scraps of composite you can also you need some a scrap of wood a um, bunch of other stuff soldering iron some glue screws and stuff but i'll show you what i did um, to get it done. First, you got to open up the battery, salvage a part out of here. Okay, so this is the part we need from the inside of the battery. Um, and there's some delicate wires here. I think there's a temperature sensor in here. I kept all of this intact. Just going to open up the battery pack. I'm going to cut the white wire, cut the black wire. And um, I really want to just be careful to leave the rest of the stuff intact. I just want this piece. And I'm going to redo one, resolder one of my own wires. The last time I used, I was able to use the white one, but you can resolder both wires if you want, but just try to keep this whole thing intact when you open it up. All right, so this is the piece that I got from the battery inside. You see you got your white lead and then your black lead here. Those are the two main ones that you're going for, but you have all this other ancillary stuff in here. Like I think it's a temperature gauge. I'm kind of just keeping it all, wrapping it up, trying to keep it as compact as possible. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break off this little plastic tab. I'm gonna bend this lead over a little bit and then bend this white lead over a little bit. Um, I'm going to take a soldering iron, pull this black one off, and put a longer one on. This white one should be long enough. I used it last um, in my previous one. This is still good, so I'm going to use that. But I'm just going to do a little soldering right here. But all this other stuff here, I'm just kind of wrapping up, being careful with it, making sure I don't mess any of it up. And, um, and then I'll have this little clip and this will clip into the tool and this will stay in the tool permanently. And then the two leads, the black and the white will go onto the adapter leads in here um, when we get everything connected. All right, finished product. I got the leads on and I got this thing as compact as I could pretty much get it. 
uh, for right now. And then this is going to go in the tool and get connected to the adapter. Okay, so here I got my tool, jigsaw or sawzall, I'm sorry. Uh, this is the piece we just soldered up. This came from the battery. This goes right into the tool right here. Black, this double blade goes over here on the right hand side if you're looking at it that way. This is going to stay in there pretty much permanently once you get this in. All right, I have the, you want to tuck the leads into the side here. Um, it's going to go to the adapter. So with that in, uh, I want to fill in this gap here, this cavity, so I can use these screw holes and I'll screw this adapter right into the right into the screw gun and kind of keep it permanent. So I milled this piece. This is a piece of actually composite decking. I just had a scrap sitting around. You could probably use wood or PVC. Um, it's a pretty simple kind of a profile. All right, you could play around with it. Figure out with this in how you want to get this so it's even. I'll tell you the thickness is 11 sixteenths. Okay, um, and this piece I, I took from this this piece here and I had to notch it out a little bit on this side and when you take a look at the tool you'll figure out why but this slides right in to the tool here and this is gonna I'm gonna glue this in and that's gonna give me a nice permanent solid base to screw this adapter in over the top and then I'll it'll keep it all solid as one piece and then all I have to do is solder the leads on and then I'm done um, this takes overnight for it to to settle um, I'm using just like a a PL8 or the stuff called Fuse. Um, it's really good polyurethane glue. I'll put it all in here, slide this piece in, let it sit overnight, really get really solid and cinch up. And then I'll do the rest of the screwing everything together. All right. Okay, so this thing's been drying overnight. The adhesive's dry. This piece is nice and solid in there. It's not coming out this way because it's the way the profile is. So it's, it's stuck in there this way. And then once I put the screws in, I got the screws hole mark, marked in there. Once I put the screws in, a one inch screw, it's not gonna come out this way either. So it's pretty solid uh, base for this thing to be screwed in. I'm just gonna tin the tips of the, uh, the leads. And then I also, extra precautionary measure, I guess. I fill this all up with uh, some clear silicone, all the leads in case, just in case I get some water somewhere, this is all kind of watertight, but that's basically it. Then I'm going to screw this all together, get the leads soldered on, screw it down and that's it. Alright, so the adapter screwed in, all right, the glue is pretty much dry down here. I got the leads here that are tinned, pre-tinned, and then the blades, I got some, um, if you can see that, I got some solder on those already. So the tricky part is kind of getting these wires tucked in and then soldered to the blades. That takes a little finagling, but you know, you'll eventually get it if you get the leads not too long and if you get them kind of short you'll get them in there, but it might be a little bit of a struggle, but once you got those blades all set up and those leads put together, this thing's ready to go. All right, we got the lead soldered up, everything's screwed in. Silicone's still a little bit wet, but moment of truth, we're gonna test it out. 
Got my M18 battery. Slide it in. This thing's nice and solid. It's on there. Right? That's what I like about it. It's not really too big and bulky, but all good. Everything's working um, on and off pretty easy. So that's it. That's what it looks like. All right. Probably use a little more silicone if I wanted to really make it waterproof, but. Can add that later. All set up.